What is good guys, back with more SPL. We have Trosco playing for the Wi-Fi Wolfpack versus Eternal Spirit playing for the Tigers. Uh, we can look at the teams real quick. I'm guessing it's the defensive core, more so Philip Steeler and then AV Tangros on Eternal's side and Defog Zapdos. The Lele is probably Specs or Z-Move and then Garchomp is Scarf. So it could be either Rocks on Scarfchomp or on the Mega DNC. DNC could potentially be Nature Power, which would be really cool for the packs, but I doubt it is that because yeah, Nature Power would turn into Psychic in Terrain. I think TNC also learned Psychic, I'm not 100% sure about that. Uh, looking at Trosco's team is most likely Z Tornadoes with Defog and the yeah, Hurricane, so Z Sky Strike. Um, the Zygarde is most likely Bandit. The Heatran is his only potential rocker, so I'm thinking it's Spadef Rock's trend to help with the Lily matchup. The Scissor is probably more so fit of. It could be SD Scissor since the Torn is most likely the Defogger. Yeah, I'm not sure if the Bulu is AV or what the Bulu would be. And the Pex is obviously gonna be um, yeah, mixed defensive, more so Spadef, but um, Scarlet will cover Haze and then either Toxic or T Spikes in the last slot. So we see uh, Lele versus Bulu lead, and Bulu's terrain goes first, which means the Bulu is Scarf. So Eternal is gonna switch into either Tangros or Celesteela here. So Trosco should double. He could do a few things. He could double into Heatran or he could um, double into like Pax. He just would hammers, which I don't really like that play because Eternal was never sacking his Lele turn one. Um, now Trosco can go into. He can do a few things. He can go to Tornadoes, Pax, or Heatran here. So if I'm Eternal Spirit, I would either Leech it or double. I think doubling is better. I think he could double into Deancy here. Um, because that covers the, the trend and depending on his set, could, if it has Psychic or Nature Power, it can hit the packs pretty hard. If it has Rocks, it could get up the Rocks. Um, I think the is a fine double here. You could also double to um, Tapu Lele if he has All Out Pummeling, because that beats the packs and it also could beat the trend if it has All Out Pummeling. Mm -hmm. So let's see what he goes to. There's a Tornado as he doubles into Tangros. Not 100% sure what Eternal predicted there, but Eternal obviously has to switch here. So Atrosco could just U-turn here, the DNC or the Zapdos is gonna come out. Um, there's the DNC, as he knocks off expecting the Zapdos. So if he has Iron Tail, that would be cool, but I doubt he has Iron Tail. So he's either gonna hard U-turn out, or if he doesn't have U-turn, he's gonna hard switch into most likely Toxic Packs. And Eternal Spirit could go for Diamond Storm here, or if he has Rocks, he could get his Rocks up. Depends obviously on his set. Um, but I'm pretty sure Trosco is forced to U-turn slash hard switch into Toxapex if he doesn't have U-turn. And there's the Pex. Do we see Earth Power? We do see Rocks. Okay. Um. So this Pex is most likely going to fire off a Scald here. Eternal Spirit is going to go into Zapdos. So if Trosco has Toxic, he could go for Toxic. He just Scalds, which if he gets the burn, that's not that great for Trosco because now he cannot Toxic the Zapdos. Um, I'm thinking though this doesn't have Toxic because if he had Toxic, he should have gone for it there. The Zapdos switch was pretty obvious. We also see the Zapdos is not pressure, so it's Static Zapdos to try to get Paras versus stuff like Medicham. Um, yeah, Trosco most likely has T-Spikes because if he had Toxic, he should have gone for it there because the Zapdos switch was super obvious. And since Burn is nerfed, it only does 6%, it only cancels out the leftovers, so the Zapdos doesn't really get worn down. So this is most likely T-Spike. Trosco should get up the T-Spikes um, because Bedef Packs can easily either discharge from bulky Zapdos. It does not have a problem, like it eats those. And if he gets the T-Spike up, that hits the DNC, the Tang Rose, the Lele, and the Garchomp, so that makes Eternal Defog. Eternal is pretty much forced to defog if T-Spikes go up, so I don't know why he scored there instead of T-Spiking. Oh yeah, he didn't want the Lele to come out. The Lele seems pretty threatening to his team, but now... Yeah, there are the T-Spikes, exactly. Now Eternal is forced to defog, that's what I was talking about. And yeah, Trosco can get a free switch here into his Zygarde. And Eternal is now gonna go into his Tangrowth. So if Trosco has Bandit Toxic, he could go for that. Band Toxic, that, that would be really cool. He could also double here into Scissor or... That doesn't really get him anywhere though. Like, I think doubling doesn't get Trosco that much. So if he has Toxic, he could just go for that. That would be cool. He doubles into Tran. Um, this Tran, uh, let's see if it's Magma Storm of its Lava Plume. Eternal is not gonna stay in here, obviously, but Torso not staying in. Um, yeah, basically he had two reasons why he didn't stay in there. Um, he didn't want to... Let his Heatron get low because he needs healthy for the Tapu Lele. And he might also not have Magma Storm. He might only have Lava Plume, which wouldn't do much to the Tangros. But yeah, Trosco um, should just Toxic Spike here because Eternal Spirit is just gonna go back to Zapdos. It's pretty obvious. 
Um, he's not gonna risk his DNC take. Letting, he doesn't want to let his DNC take a skull. There's a Zapdos, but yeah, Eternal, uh, not not Eternal. Trosco can now just T spike this turn. So Eternal could pivot into Lily here um, on the T spike. Because uh, Eternal wants to get the Lily in on a turn where Trosco doesn't attack, so it doesn't take any damage on Lily. Because if Lily get, comes in on a Skull and gets burned, that would be annoying for Eternal, as it can potentially break uh, Trosco's team if he turn gets low, especially. So Eto Trosco expects him to go Lily and Skulls again. And yeah, this turn he could go into Lily because Trosco is either gonna recover or he's gonna Toxic Spike. Like last turn, yeah, that was uh, op the option that he didn't. T spike, but this turn is pretty obvious. He either has to recover or T spike. I don't think he can afford to scald because obviously discharge with two hit KO. And yeah, I know he can take a discharge and T spike here, but I think recover is the better play because if his um, pex gets too low, then the DNZ becomes a huge problem for Trosco because it could still have um, HP fire for the Scizor. And we know the Budo is scarf, so it also doesn't want to. I mean, even Eddie Bulu doesn't want to take Diamond Storms. Like, Diamond Storms is pretty spammable versus Trosco's team. So if his packs gets low, that could be a huge problem. The end, he could potentially get a kill if he doesn't have keep his packs healthy. So yeah, I would um, probably go Lele here from Eternal. He just roosts. It was pretty obvious that he was not going to attack there, but it's fine. He T-spikes instead of recovering. Um, so I guess he didn't care too much about the uh, Pex being super healthy. He like it's not like he would have hard lost to the anti, but I think it would have been smart to keep it healthy. So Heatran comes out on the defog. Turtle has to switch here. He's either gonna go guard jump or the anti. Um so if Trosco has off power, he could go for that. He obviously cannot go for rocks because if the Yancy comes out, rocks would get magic bounce back. So he has to play this careful. Um yeah, this is obviously the rocker, it's his only potential rocker. So I'm thinking this is um, either Magma Storm or Lava Plume, Toxic Rocks, and the last slot could be Taunt or Off Power. We'll have to see that. But yeah, Tunnel is not going to stay in here because if it's a Magma Trapping trend and he loses his Zapdos, this is going to be bad for Eternal. Wasn't it the Yancy expecting um, the Magma Storm or the Lava Plume works out for Eternal as he does not get the burn. So Etrosco has to switch here um, back into Pex or he could also go into um, Bulu if he predicts it off power. But I assume Eternal is just going to get his rocks up. He could also double in the top of Lele here um, on the on this on the Pex and then threaten that out and then the trend has to come out and he can either weaken the trend with a Psychic or he can if he has pummeling, go for that. Nice all out pummeling. But yeah, this is, has been a bit repetitive. Like, we had Pex versus Zapdos a few times. Pex got up T's by Zapdos defogged away. DNC got up rocks before that, but then he kept defogging his own rocks away. And his own rocks have not helped, helped Eternal that much because uh, Tren got his health back with lefties and Pex gets his health back with um, Re Regenerator and Black Sludge. So yeah, um, I would just Toxic Spike here, this is really repetitive, Zapdos is gonna come out again, but he Skulls, not risking it, at least Zapdos doesn't have pressure, so it's not too bad for Trosku, he can afford to waste um, some of his Skulls, so he's just gonna tease back here, um, surprised that Eternal is not trying to get his Lele in on a turn where Trosku is going for T-Spikes, uh, as he goes now on his Zygarde expecting a Defog or a Discharge, and yeah, if he has Toxic, he should really go for it, um, on the on the tank rows. maybe he's T arrows E speed Iron Tail and Outrage. He doesn't have Toxic the way he has been playing this. Like this doesn't work for Trosco because he has to switch again since he only has Lava Plume. He doesn't even beat the tank rows one on one. So he should go into either Scissor or Tornado here. Um, since Lava Plume would only do like I think it would get forty or fifty to tank and Earthquake would hurt especially if he doesn't get the burn. That's the Scissor. So now this is interesting. He could U turn, but I don't know if he wants to U turn. If he has Knock Off, he could go for that. Since the Zapdos has Static, I don't know if you would want to U-turn out here. I assume Eternal is going to go to either Zapdos or Celesteela. Zapdos makes more sense because it gives him the chance to get a para if the Scissor attacks. What would I double to here from Trosco? Hmm. Yeah, I would probably double to Heatran. Heatran not having Magma Storm is annoying though for Trosco because he cannot like trap the Zapdos and he cannot... Like, like Magma Storm would be able to do more damage on to the end. He has a U-turn against Pearlized. 
Um, yeah, personally would not have U-turned, but maybe he just wanted to get the Mega off to have more bulk. The Perra could potentially be bad later in the game when he gets lower and tries to roost. But yeah, uh, Zygarde is gonna come out again, or Heatran. And if Zygarde, I don't know, maybe Zygarde doesn't have Toxic, because otherwise he should have really gone for it in my opinion. Because Tangus is like always gonna come out on Zygarde. I mean, if Heatran comes out, the only progress that Trosco makes is... Like, he only makes progress if he gets a burn with Heatran on the incoming Dianthi. Otherwise, he doesn't really make progress because Lava Plume doesn't do much to Dianthi. There's the Zygarde. So, Tangrus is gonna come out. He does he have Toxic. He does just Thousand Arrows. I don't know. Obviously, if he doesn't have Toxic, I feel like um, he had to double there, maybe? Or, I don't know. But yeah, he... Like, he doesn't... No, no, like, let's not talk him down too much like he could he can obviously afford to have the tangros come in because he has tornadoes and scissor both can switch in on tangros for free right so tangros being in is not a problem for trusco but toxic would just get him more out of the turn if he has it which is why i thought if he had it he should have gone for it so now he can um probably just go for hurricane to weaken the dnc a bit he knows for knockoff um okay now he used to go back in the Toxapex or Scizor, but I don't think he wants to go Scizor because he's paralyzed. And yeah, Eternal Spirit can get his rocks back up. This is super repetitive. Or he could um Yeah, off power doesn't even twit kill. He could off power fishing for a spadaf drop. What did he even reveal on the DNC? Did he reveal rocks? I think that's it. Did he ever attack with DNC? I don't think he did. So hard into Bulu expecting the off power or the rocks? Now, obviously, a Tangrus or a Steeler are gonna come out here. If he has Nature's Madness, they could go for that, but it doesn't really get him that much. And I don't think he has Nature's Madness. I assume he has Holy Leech, Woodhammer, Stone Edge, and Super Power, that's my guess. I would probably double into Tornadus here, expecting the Tangrus or Steeler, and then potentially getting off the Defog. Especially if Tangrus comes out, you can Defog on that pretty much for free with the Torn. You could also go Pex and um, get T-Specs back up and force your opponent to defog, but I assume doubling the Taunt defog is fine. Uh, now Heatran is a good play as well because Grassy Terrain is up and Heatran gets all the rocks, damage it took from rocks back immediately from leftovers and Grassy Terrain. Also Tangrow's Earthquake is weakened in terrain. So the thing is, I still don't think it's the play for Trosco to stay in because you don't want your Heatran to get knocked off. Exactly. Because if you lose the leftovers on a turn, you get chipped, and then Lele can become a huge issue for you. So there's the default. Now the NC is getting um, health back from Grassy Terrain, which is really nice for Eternal Spirit. Because the NC has not taken much damage, it only has taken some knockoffs. Um, Trosco is gonna go back to Pax here. Pretty repetitive. Eternal is either gonna rocks, or he could double to something like Lele or Chomper. Let's just get the rocks up again, and now he's obviously not gonna stay in. He's gonna go back to Zapdos. This is just pretty repetitive. He could also go hard Lele if he expects a T spike, but I don't think he's gonna risk that on a potential Scald. I already talked about that earlier, so I think he's just gonna go Zapdos. Um, he goes Lele this time, okay. And there's the Scald because now he gets risk getting burned, which is why I'm not a fan of that play. But he doesn't get burned. Okay, now he obviously has to switch into Heatran here. Trosco has to switch into Heatran. Unless he predicts a Focus Blast. If he predicts a Focus Blast, he could go hard into Scarf Bulu. <laughs> but um, he does go hard Bulu, expecting potential fighting move. There's the Psychic. I mean, obviously, he could afford to take, do that once. He can eat it up. But now his um, Bulu is getting low. So Eternal is making some progress now. Eternal here obviously has to switch again. So he does go in a Torn, expecting the Tangros. And now he can just Defog away the rocks. Yeah, but I think, like... I think he already knocked off earlier with his Tornadus twice on an incoming DNC. He should have either hurricane or doubled. Because like knocking the DNC doesn't really gain trust go much. I think he kinda could have played it a little bit better. Now um the Celestial not Celestial, Pax is gonna come back out. He could also uh, Yeah, I think you have to go Pax. Like it's just repetitive, it's how it is. I'm trying to see if he has like other plays, but Pax is just always the play on DNC. Scald here. Because you don't want to let Lele come in for free, but there's the Pearl, so it comes in for free anyway. Uh, now you have to go, go Tran because your Bulu is already weakened. So if Eternal has Pummeling or Pummeling, this is going to be bad for Trusco because he's. Yeah, now he's just forced to go Tran. He cannot. Like I said, he cannot go Bulu. He already let it take his Psychic. 
Uh, now um, there's a crit which sucks, and now he should switch out. He should switch out here into his packs or his tornadoes. Um, scouting for the all-out pummeling. Um, Eternal just psychics again and kills the packs. Maybe that's specs because he just died in one hit. Maybe it's specs or twisted spoon. I'm not sure. So yeah, Scarf Bulu comes out. Uh, Eternal can go to Steeler or Tangrus again. Um, yes, so I said he should go into Pex or Taunt to scout for the pummeling, but honestly, I think Eternal didn't lose too much from double psychicking. But since he got that crit on Trent, Trosku was in a bad position no matter what. Even if he stayed in with Trent to Toxic the Lele or to Lava Plume Fish for a burn, I think the Lele still beats the Trent when we won, especially with that crit. So like Trosku was put in a bad spot, and I do understand that he wanted to scout for pummeling, I would have done that as well. So yeah, Tornadus comes out here and... He's gonna defog. DNC is back at full. Um, Pax is dead now, so this is really bad for Trusco because now DNC became a huge threat. If he has off power, he can just kill the heat turn here. So he should switch into Scizor, predicting the off power, or scouting for the off power, or into Bulu, one of the two. Surprised he went heat turn first. I mean, the reason why he went heat turn first is to get leftovers and grassy terrain back before Rocks up so he can check the Lele. But yeah, he cannot really check the Lele anymore. That's crazy, like, I'm actually considering if I would run Spedeftrian myself, I would run Flash Cannon. He's gonna roost here, right? He should roost, he gets paralyzed. If I would run Spedeftrian, I would actually consider running Flash Cannon on it, because Lele beats you when we want it. Just spam Psychic, it gets either crits or Spedef drops eventually, and your trend doesn't beat it if it only has, like, Lava Plume or Toxic to hit it if you Spedeftrian. So, he expects the, ro um, the roost and wants to roost with his Scizor, but he gets paralyzed. Um, because if his Scizor is not healthy, he cannot switch into Dianthi at all anymore, because now his Pax is dead. So this is looking heavily in Eternal Spirit's favor now. Yeah, like, you could say it was a misplay doubling into Pax. I don't think it was a misplay. Um, he kind of had just trouble with Lele, especially after his train got crit, like I said. So he goes into train here on a Discharge, I assume. Yep. He can... Yeah, like, he's really low on this train, really low. He should just la... He can lava Bloomfish for a burn. And the reason why he has to stay in with Tren here, kind of... Like, he kind of wants to stay in with Tren. Because he wants to get that extra ton of leftovers recovery. Obviously, Rox is not the play because the end is gonna come out. I think he doesn't have off pawn his trend because he would have gone for it by now. So it's probably Lava Plume, uh, Toxic, Rox, and um, either Taunt or. I don't know. But yeah, this end you can just click off power here. You don't have to predict if you're Eternal. Trosco probably much ha pretty much has to go into either Scizor or um, if Bulu can take it off power, he can go to that as well. I don't remember how healthy the Bulu is, but if he goes Bulu, that doesn't get him anywhere. So yeah, I agree with going Scizor. And now he should just roost because Eternal should never risk his DNC. Um, Eternal could either go like Zap the Stealer or Tangrowth. Yeah, that's the roost. Nice play, but I don't think it matters because it's the rocks up and like Scizor is low. There's the heat where he sacks it. Um, I think he should have gone to Zygarde that turn, but maybe he was expecting this to be HPI Zapdos. I don't think I was revealed until this point, but honestly, he was such in a bad position already. Like, Eternal was gonna win that game anyway. So Eternal is just gonna go to um, Tangrowth here. So if he doesn't have Toxic, then he should double. As he does double in a turn, and now we can defog. But, like, it doesn't matter because Eternal can just go back into the end to get the rocks back up. Also, like, yeah, it's pretty obvious Rox has more PP than Defog, than Torn is Defog. He got, oh, ooh, he goes hard zap those. Okay. I mean, the could have <laughs> eaten that Sky Strike anyway. Obviously, Trosco um, had to play for the choke there. He expected him to stay in, I think, and yeah, he wanted to kill the Tangrowth. Like, he had to try and play for some choke. Now he obviously can't Defog. Zapdos just gonna discharge here or Roost. Here, Roost. He didn't wanna risk his Torn there. Tangos is gonna come out, he's either gonna double or um, see arrows because he doesn't have defog it seems. I mean he doesn't have toxic, I mixed up the words. Because they're playing kind of fast and I wanted to say he went, he's gonna defog with Torn here but I was still talking about the last turn so I mixed up Torn with Tren. I mixed up Torn with Zygarde, my bad. And he misses a hurricane there, um, I think he should have defog but it doesn't matter. After Pax went down, the end, he just went in on Tros go. He's going for Hurricane Confusion now. Let's see if he gets it. As uh, Eternal just Moonblast, which I agree with that because you don't want to risk missing a Diamond Storm. 
So I assume Trosco is just gonna hurricane again at this point. He's just hoping for the for the confusion and the hurt itself on the on the DNC. Switch ins, he just doesn't have switch ins at this point. If he goes Tran, he gets Truid KO'd from the DNC. So Eternal's just gonna Moonblast here if he doesn't get confused. Yep, he picks off the Torn. And yeah, Scarf Bulo. Let's see if Eternal is gonna preserve the 6 0. You can just go into um, Steeler here, Tangrowth. The reason why um, those two are like more likely, uh, like he should go into those two over Zapdos, is because this could have Stone Edge to hit the Zapdos. Mm. Iron Tail would have been pretty cool. He doubles into um, the Tramp in the Steeler, I think. But, I mean, Grassy Terrain is up, but. This is fine for Eternal. He could knock off here or he could earthquake. No, I think knock off is fine. Also, keeping this healthy for Zagat is smart, so maybe that's not the play. Yeah, I think he's just gonna go back to the ENC. Okay, he stays in. I think back to the ENC would have been a better play. He also would have looked like a complete overlord. Just because, like, at first I thought he could stay in with Tangos, and yes, he can. But you want to keep it as healthy as possible for the Zygarde. Um, no, nah, no, nah, nah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because even if the Zygarde crits you with Outrage. Um, if the Zyga locks into Outrage the next turn, he can just go into DNC, he knows it's locked in. HPS doesn't kill, um, that might have been a roll. But yeah, now you can just go DNC knowing that the Zyga is locked into Outrage. Um, even if it's not Bennett, it would have been locked in anyway. And now he can just click uh, Diamond Storm here if he wants to. I don't remember his set, it was Rocks Moonblast. Did he show anything else? I don't know if he showed anything else. Diamond Storm Earth Power? Oh, he shot Earth Power, he Earth Power the Scissor earlier. So let's see if Eternal preserves or if he's gonna sack this. He should just go into his tank growth. Tank growth also covers the double into Heatran. Uh, even though he can't double because if he doubles, he dies to rocks anyway. But yeah, his game been over. Um, pretty much after Pax died, the NC was such a huge problem for Trosco. So the score is now 2 and 1 for the Tigers. As he didn't preserve his 6 0, which is kind of sad. Now he's just gonna go Scarf Jump here and click off quick twice. Pretty uncommon Scarf Trump, but I'm pretty sure it has to be Scarf looking at the team and seeing how the Lele... I think the Lele might have been Specs because it oko the packs from 88. Uh, it was either Modest or Twisted Spoon or some damage boosting item or it was Specs. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you with more SPL content later. Have a fantastic day. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and peace out.